Hi, this video is meant to show the Queries a Web Service tool, how to create a Queries a Web Service, and how to consume that query as a web service inside of the Dashboards application. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into my uh, Business Objects BI4 uh, client tools, bring up the Queries a Web Service Designer, and I'm going to log into our local BOE4 uh, server. I'll type in my password and click OK. And so it's going to bring up a listing of all the queries of web services and the BI services that we've created. So you can see here, this is a listing of BI services that were created in Webby. I'm going to create a new query by clicking the New Query button and then give it a name. I'll call this eFashion. Uh, since I'm going to use that universe and use that universe's data. So I'll go down into the listing of queries of web services, or sorry, the uh, universes here, and I'll select eFashion and click Next. And we'll just build a very simple query. We'll pull out year, and in my measures, I'll pull out sales revenue. And we'll click Next. And this will give us a preview of the data. So you can see here we have our input parameters, which we don't have any prompts or uh, any input parameters. Our output parameters here is year and sales revenue, and you can see a preview of the data. So notice that we have two columns and three rows here. So I'll publish this query. So now this is publishing the queries of web service up to the server. So you'll notice here that we have eFashion. And then over here on the right side, we have our URL. And I want to copy this into memory onto the clipboard because I'm going to use this in the dashboards application. So I click to clipboard and that copies that URL into memory and minimize the quas tool. Now I'll bring up my dashboards application and we're going to make a very simple dashboard here. So we're going to create a we're going to just create a very simple dashboard uh, to, uh, that we'll use to just display the data that's coming back from that query as a web service. So what I'll do here is I'll go into data and connections, click add, and pick the first option here, web service query, query as a web service. So I'll click that. And the name here, I'll leave it as connection one, the name here is inconsequential. Uh, I'll paste what I've copied into memory and notice that um, I've said before uh, in some of my talks that we have to have the WSDL equals one. So you can see that that's automatically placed in here. That tells the application that's calling the web service to always bring back the web service definition language. I'll click import. So it'll go off to that URL. It'll read that query and you'll notice that since we published this using queries a web service application that we have one method coming back, run query as a web service. So we'll just leave that method as default. And then the web service query here is automatically generated by the data manager. And so we've got two sections here, input values and output values. If we were going to publish this dashboard out to, say, InfoView or uh, Launchpad, you could either hard code a login and password so they'll use the same account every time, or leave it blank and it'll pick up the credentials of the user that's currently logged into the portal. So we'll leave those blank for now. Uh, over here in the output values, we want to tell Excelsius or dashboards where to put the data. So I'm going to select inside of Run Queries Web Service Response Table Row. I'm going to bind these rows to the exact number of cells that we're expecting uh, cells and column rows and columns uh, that we're expecting to come back from the query. So we know that we're getting two columns and three rows of data. So I'm going to drop in uh, uh, A1 through B3 and click OK. So now we've found that. You see we have a lot of other data that we can pull out of here, like creator name, creation date, uh, date formatted, um, all this information that we can pull out to give our users and our dashboard more information about the, the query. So uh, the next thing I'm going to do is go to my Usage tab. And if I don't click Refresh before components are loaded or Refresh every, so if I don't have any Refresh options, that query will never run. So what I'll do here is I'll pick Refresh Before Components Are Loaded and click Close. Now we've got our data in our, our spreadsheet, but we need to get it onto our dashboard. So what I'm going to do here is go over to Selectors and then go down to Spreadsheet Table and drop that into my dashboard. And now I want to bind up that, that, that spreadsheet component to the range of cells here in Excel so that we can have a quick view of that data. I'm just going to bind it up to sheet 1, A1 through B3, click OK. So of course, first it's showing up blank. So I'm going to 
fit my canvas to the components and I'm going to pop it out a little bit to give myself a border. And so now we have a very simple dashboard. I'm going to click preview here. And when we preview this, it's going to go off. Oh, well, it's actually asking me for my parameters to log in. So let's resize this window and click preview again. Because uh, in the web service, because we didn't wire up a user ID and password, it's asking us to log into the system. So we'll say BOE40, administrator, password, and authentication type, and click OK. Because it's actually trying to run this query and each credentials uh, within which it's going to run the query. So now it's going off to the BOE40 system. It's running that query as a web service and see now it's pulled back the data. And we can check the data here uh, alongside the QOS query here by just running through. Uh, we can edit the query again and just run through the whole selection process. Get back over to the preview. There we go. So we can do a side by side comparison of that data along with our dashboard data. So 2004, 5, and 6, 809, 6123. 8096123. So you can do a comparison there to make sure that the data coming back from the QOS query is in fact the data that you're seeing in your dashboard.